understanding native applications and tools. In this lesson, you will explore MS Config features, Windows Media Player features, Windows Media Center features, Windows Internet Explorer features, and Windows Explorer. During this presentation, I'd like you to keep in mind these guiding questions. What is the difference between Windows Media Center and Windows Media Player? How is the snipping tool different from performing a print screen? What system utility allows you to configure your system to boot in safe mode on the next reboot? The first tool we're looking at is msconfig.exe, which has been around since Windows 3.1. It's now referred to as the system configuration. It can be accessed by clicking start and entering msconfig or system configuration in the search programs and files field. Once you've opened up system configuration, in there you will find that there are five tabs. We have the general tab, which allows the user to set the startup type. The boot tab allows the user to configure the system to reboot into safe mode with multiple boot options. Services tab allows the user to disable individual services on startup. Startup tab allows the user to disable applications that will load on boot. And the Tools tab contains a list of commonly used tools that can be launched from system configuration. One of the applications included in Windows 7 is Windows Media Player. It comes with, it's available in all Windows 7 editions. It's located by clicking Start Programs, Windows Media Player. When first started, Windows Media Player will scan your computer for all media files to be the default application used for those file types. Windows Media Player features include built-in support for many popular audio and video formats, including 3GP, AAC, AVC, HD, MPEG-4, WMV, WMA. It also supports AVI, DivX, MOV, and XVID files. The Play 2 feature streams music and video to other PCs running Windows 7 or compatible devices, including TVs and stereos. Other Windows Media Player features include, you can organize by artist, album, and genre. You can also create custom playlists within Windows Media Player. Windows Media Center is another application that comes with Windows 7. You can use it to view, pause, and record HD TV, watch DVDs, listen to music, display photos, view online shows, share media from one PC to another PC and to other home and business capable devices within the home group feature in Windows 7. It's available in Home Premium, Professional, Ultimate, and Enterprise editions of Windows 7. Windows Media Center provides a desktop gadget for Windows 7 for easy navigation and selection. Another application come, which comes loaded in, in Windows 7 is Internet Explorer, which is Microsoft's free web browser. Windows 7 comes bundled with Internet Explorer 8, but this screenshot displays Internet Explorer 9. The latest version of Internet Explorer boasts performance improvements over its predecessors using hardware accelerated text, video, and graphics. Internet Explorer has a new combined search and address bar. You can pin favorite websites to your taskbar. This comes, this feature is only available in Internet Explorer 9. A safer internet browsing experience has been made available due to the following safety features. ActiveX filter. An Internet Explorer can help you make an informed decision about every ActiveX control you run by giving you the ability to block ActiveX controls for all sites and then turn them on for only the sites that you trust. This can help improve your protection against risky and unreliable ActiveX controls. Cross-site scripting filter attacks are leading online threat. Their aim is to exploit vulnerabilities in the websites you visit. How do they work? By compromising legitimate websites with malicious content that can capture keystrokes and record your login information and password. If your login information and password is captured, your personal data could be compromised.
Windows Explorer is used to navigate through your Windows file system. It contains several time-saving features to manage your desktop experience. Jump list is a list of frequently accessed files, folders, and applications which can be pinned to a jump list. Improved search speeds, Windows Search can index derives for quicker search results. Libraries can filter volumes based on file types such as media documents or custom filters. And favorites, folders can be dragged to the favorites list for quicker access. To pin a recently used document or folder to a jump list, right click Windows Explorer icon on the desk or the taskbar. This will display recently used folders and documents. A tool I found useful is the Open Command Window Here tool. You can jump to a folder in a command window by holding down the Shift key, right clicking on the folder, and selecting Open Command Here. Very useful when trying to get a command prompt in the current directory. Here's a list of some of the questions I want you to discuss with your group. What Windows Media application allows you to watch TV programs over the internet? What feature in Windows Explorer allows you to pin frequently used documents, folders, or applications to the Start menu? And what feature in Internet Explorer allows a user to browse websites without keeping information about the websites visited in the browsing history on the computer?